this is Actors Daily Bread. Welcome. I'm live on Instagram. I'm live on Facebook. In uh, all my groups, I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years and a life and career coach for actors just like you. This is Actors Daily Bread, episode 159. So all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. Today I am talking about the beauty in between the lines. If you're not an actor, this probably ain't the live for you. This is just for my actors. So check it. I just got done. Shout out to all my Inner Circle members. Um, inner Circle, yes. My, this is my, my professor notebook here. Um, but I just got done teaching a two-hour um, session with my Inner Circle members. And it was great. I mean, we covered so many things, but something that was lingering in my mind was a topic that came up and we were talking about the beauty in between the lines. What's up? I see you. I see. Hey, Marilee. Hey, Jasmine. Um, shout out to all my Hollywood bound actors who are popping on. If you're not a member of that Facebook group, come on and join us. Hollywoodboundactors.com. To all my Booking Magnet Academy members, what's up? Um, your training will come tomorrow. I still don't know what I'm teaching y'all because y'all... I'm still working on it. It's so like challenging. Like I just want to keep giving and like figuring out what y'all need. Um, but we gonna get it. But I had an amazing session today with my inner circle members, and I wanted to pop on and talk about the beauty in between lines. So let me come here to uh, Instagram. I see you guys. Hey, Urban Mystic. Um, I'm not a. She says I'm not a professional actor, but in my spa business, I have to adapt to all characters. <laughs> I am sure. What's up, Trafina Wade? What's up, New York in the house? We got Atlanta in the house. We got Texas in the house. Um, so I just wanted to, I'm just, I jokingly said before I came on Facebook, I said to Instagram, I was like, I just finished teaching for two hours. I just needed to come on live to unwind. <laughs> I'm like, Christine, you ain't unwinding nothing. Um, I'm trying to. I got dinner thawing and ready to go. But I did want to come on um, Oh, thank you, Trafina. Trafina says, just finished watching my FYC video. Good stuff. For those of you who don't know, I am campaigning this year to be, to be nominated for an Emmy Award for my uh, guest star appearance in The Good Doctor, season two, episode eight. So if you are a Television Academy voter or if you know one, I would appreciate you retweeting and sharing and all that good stuff. I'll be posting some more things you can share very soon. That would be a great help to me. But voting doesn't open until June 10th. So I'm going to do that when I get back from vacation. I am going on vacation next week. Yay! And so I will not be working, which will be so hard. But I will try to manage. But let's dive into today. Hey, Ernest. What's up? You know... I, because it is Emmy season, uh, and for those of you who are not familiar, this is the time of year voting opens uh, for Emmys June 10th. So that means from like late January to until voting opens, um, there are a ton of what we call FYC events, which just stands for For Your Consideration. And so all the networks, anybody who has a show is trying to get your vote. So they're throwing parties and events. And so this is the time of year I'm going to at least three to four events a week um, to view the, view the show, eat well, drink well, all that good stuff. So last week I went to, God, last week was a busy week. I went to four events. My alarm is going off telling me to stop working. <laughs> Um, my last week I went to four events and one of them really stood out to me. Well, a couple of them, two of them did. And one was True Detective, um, where I got to listen to Mahershala Ali, um, and Carmine Jojo, Stephen, I forget his last name, the stars of True De this season's True Detective. And, um, you know, this is what I was talking to my inner circle members about just when we got out of class just now. And I know some of you deal with when you're doing a scene, right? You have an audition, you're doing a scene. Hey, Brian. Hey, G Dream State, right? Hey, TC. And you, you know, you get a scene where you don't have all the lines. And so this came up talking when I was watching the True Detective panel with Mahershala Ali talking, and also the following night, 
I went to an event for the show called Barry. It's a comedy also. Well, not also, but it's a comedy, which I love. So any, I got any Barry fans or any true detective fans out there? Anybody with cable? <laughs> um, and so Bill Hader was talking about like, oh God, it's so tough when actors, when we get these scenes where we don't have, um, when we don't have a ton of lines. And I was so impressed by one of the actors on the show, and I'm not going to mess up his name because I'm my phone is being used. I can't look it up. But his this is just to inspire you. So this guy, he's one of the main characters on Barry, and he um, was only supposed to be in the pilot episode. And not only was he not supposed he not supposed to be in there past the pilot, he was supposed to get shot in the face and die. And his team, when they called him for the audition, said, um, "Look." You're going to die in this if you want to take it, but it's a really great show, really great people to be associated with. And he was just like, you know what? Yeah, I'll do it. Even if I die, this would be fun. But what happened was his scene only had a few lines in it. And if any of you watch Barry, it's the, oh gosh, oh, I didn't look up his name. He's the, he's like a killer on the show. <laughs> but the scene he had in the pilot only had a few lines, but Bill Hader said, who's the star of the show and the, one of the writers and producers said, this guy was so interesting to look at. So in the scene he had, he barely had any lines, but he was just present. And what I see with some of my clients when I'm looking at your self tapes is I, something I tell you guys, hey Kenya, something I tell you guys is you're trying too hard to look like you're listening. So some of you confuse, oh, it's not my line. I don't have to be present. So you're just like waiting for your next line. I even get some of you email me and be like, Christine, most of this thing is not my line. So I just skip to my lines. Like, no, they want to see that you can be present and be interesting in between the lines, which takes me back to Mahershala Ali. So I know I'm hopping between two shows, True Detective and Barry, but just bear with me. This is what I learned from these amazing actors. Mahershala was talking about if you're not if you don't watch True Detective I hadn't actually seen the season until after the panel and it made me want to go watch it and he talked about True Detective goes back and forth in time so one one day you're in 1980s not even one day in one episode you, he, they give me in the 1980s 2015 1990 with prosthetics no prosthetics and he was talking about how how that alone was challenging. <laughs> You're used to getting a script that's 60 pages for one episode and then you get all season in a binder and like how daunting is 500 pages of script. Um, but he talked about the beauty of the silence between the lines. And that's something I love to talk about and love to deal with because we have to stop thinking that the only acting that happens is when we're speaking. So much beauty happens while you are just listening and being present. Because if you're really being present, you will be in tune to what the other actor is giving you in that moment. And just like with theater, it can happen with film and TV where the delivery may change per take. Something you, the director may whisper something in another person's ear and it just gives you something extra to work on but if you have it in your head i'm gonna say it this way at this time that's that's you not being present that's kind of like acting one-on-one he talked about just the beauty of those in-between moments and as i watched true detective it really has such a beautiful pace and it's not as snappy as regular like network television it takes its time like with with film and I really was, it's a, it's a wonderful lesson in, in acting on camera. So if you haven't seen it and you have access, uh, try to watch it. Um, for those of you watching, listen, if you're not on my mailing list, I'm sending out a bunch of wonderful things. I've just started a new series on my mailing list. So for those of you on Instagram, I have a five part training series uh, for booking more work. And I also have one on self tape mastery. Click the link in my bio and just, you'll see there's options. Get on there. Same people you hear on Facebook. There's a link here, bookmorework.com. Go ahead and check that out. It's a free five-part training series so that you don't miss anything. I do send some special things out to my mailing list only that I don't post on social. So you want to make sure you're connected to me in that way. But I just wanted to just leave you with that really quick. I am, I need to cook dinner. I'm hungry and it's late. 
But just remember, I know as we go into this slower season, um, you know, we're coming into May. So some of you are going on vacation. Some of us are going on vacation. Um, some of you got, you know, you are, you know, it's not as busy for television right now. It's sporadic. Don't lose momentum during this time. This is the time to practice your self tapes. This is the time to order the tech things that you need to make your self tapes better. It's the time to start looking at television and film with true intention. No longer should you be looking at TV and film just as a spectator like everybody else. You guys, we are artists. We are we are actors. For those of you who are who are watching me and Start looking at TV and dissecting it. Look at film and be like, man, I liked his performance because. I liked her performance because. Like, don't just, you know what I mean? Just don't be a spectator. Would you guys like an assignment? I'm gonna give you guys an assignment. <laughs> My sister Crystal always jokes, Christina's always giving somebody homework. I don't want none of her homework. <laughs> For those of you who want a little homework, if you have a chance, outside of just watching normal television, watching primetime TV shows that you could be on and see how they're dressed and all that stuff, um, I want you to watch a movie called August Osage County with Meryl Streep and Julia Roberts. It's based off a play, August Osage County, okay? If you have the time, when you have the time, if you feel like you're just laying up in bed, see if you can find it on Netflix or, iTunes or Amazon or something. And that is a masterclass of acting right there. Um, but if you can't find that project, devote something, devote some time this week to watch something. And listen, don't act like y'all don't watch TV. I know y'all do. You're watching TV or you're on YouTube watching something online or you're on Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime. No matter what you watch, declare at this moment that you will watch it with discerning eyes. Watch like a casting director. Watch like an actor. What do they have on? What is their vibe? Pay attention to the actors that are in a scene that don't have all the lines. What are they doing? I'll share this last thing with you before I wrap and go cook. Last night, I went to an FYC event, again, for your consideration, a television academy event for a show called Veep. It's in its last season with Julie Louise Dreyfus. It's on HBO, for those of you who have cable. And they were talking to the whole cast and they asked, they were asking each cast member what a favorite moment of theirs was. Um, and one guy who's in the cast said, oh my God, I love this episode from season whatever. I don't remember. He was like, so-and-so said this line and it was hilarious. But in the back of the, if you look in the back, he's kind of blurred out. But like 20 feet away was, I'm making up a name, John. And he just was like, oh, he does this thing that's so hilarious, but he's 20 feet away, kind of blurred out. And I love that moment when he shared that because it just reminded me that just because you don't have all the lines, even if you're not fully in focus, you can steal the show or you can be noticed. So don't think because you don't have all the lines or you're not the star of the show that you can't leave your mark on the screen. That really just uh, spoke volumes to me. And as a theater trained actress, that's something my mentor, shout out to Freddie Hendricks, would always tell us, you never know who's watching you. The camera will catch everything. So don't think because you're in the back, even for those of you actors out there who are starting out with doing background work and being an extra, don't think no one sees you. Someone sees you, that camera is catching you. Now, whether it decides to keep you in the shot or not is a totally different story. But if you're doing something beautiful, if you're creating magic on that screen, you will stay in the scene. All right, that is all I have for you tonight. Have an amazing night. Again, if you are watching me and you like what you hear and you're not on my mailing list, I don't know what you're doing. If you're not in the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group, you need to come on over. It's an amazing supportive group from actors all over the world who are pushing for the same amazing thing. But come connect with me on Instagram. Click the link in my bio. Just do it. And there's all kinds of goodness up in there. And here on Facebook, just click the link here in this uh, video, bookmorework.com. And I want to be able to support you in that way too. Have a great night, you guys. Let me end here on Facebook. Bye.